Hey, as ever, we're delighted to be joined post-match by Bromley manager Neil Smith. Neil, a really interesting afternoon and probably not for the right reasons. No, I've, listen, I've been in the game quite a long time and as an official, that's the worst I've seen. Uh, inconsistent, um, what he was seeing I don't know. And in the end for both teams, you know, obviously Dunny getting sent off, I think he'd lost it by then, but um, penalty, I thought we won the ball. Is it malicious? No. Does he need to send him off? No. Up at the other end, Bridgie goes down in the box after his legs are taken away and he, he deems it a, a, a fair tackle. He hasn't even kicked the ball. I don't know where he got some of his decisions from. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always going to question it because I'm going to back my team. Um, in the end, the boys put in a, a fantastic shift. You know, I heard someone say it's a disappointing draw. It's a disappointing draw in respect of we, we want to we want to win games, but for 70 minutes of that game, we we had 10 men and we looked the stronger side. And it was the worst possible timing, wasn't it? Probably just going one 0 up to then concede the penalty. Probably up very unfairly. Yeah, I, listen, I've, I've got Paul Fairclough, who's been in the game a lot longer than I am, saying that shouldn't have been a penalty one because he thought he won the ball, and two shouldn't have got sent off. That's the that's the opposition's manager. I've got the fourth official agreeing with us. The referee was, I don't know, I, look, I don't like criticising because we all have make mistakes and we all have bad days, but I thought he was uh, awful today. And Michael Cheek, very nearly putting Bromley back ahead, of course, in the incident which had the injury to, to Scott Loach, made it an even more crazy first half. Yeah, it was one of them games and, and fair play to the boys. You know, they, they, they were disciplined, unlike myself. Um, but then I, I think that's, that's up to me to, to say something that I disagree with rather than the players. And they stuck to their guns. You know, spoke to them at half time. We, we believed we were going to win, even with 10 men. We, we thought we could win. Um, and then we get the, uh, the, the penalty, scored a goal. And then, unfortunately, within a couple of minutes, we then uh, give the goal away. But uh, again, I can't ask for any more from the boys. Yes. Do we think we should be winning these games? Yes. Um, but 11 against 11, I think we do. And for basketball, the whole part of it, that game for Frankie Raymond and Luke Coulson filling in at right back for most of the game. You had two wingers and, and midfielders playing at full. Yeah, back. Frankie was outstanding again. Um, I thought Taylor Maloney, outstanding. Trots, I could go through them all. Individually and collectively, they were outstanding. Yeah, we, we, we do want to win these games, of course we do. Um, but when the referee starts throwing stuff in, it's, it's hard to then compete. Michael Sheep from the spot, there's only one outcome, isn't there? Yeah, he, he, he's absolutely shattered in there. He's got, he's got nothing left in the tank. Duffers was the same, you know, he was asking for his asthma pump and stuff like that. So, you know, the boys are putting a shift in and they deserve more than that. And, and I think there's a, the game des deserves more with officials. They've got, to be, they've got to be accountable as well. And uh, hopefully, you know, the assessor's here and he will be. Well, now we move on to Tuesday now, away to Yeovil Town. What's your thoughts ahead of that one? Well, again, you know, Big game. It's a, it's a great game for us as well. Um, Yeovil. We need, we need to put one over on them. It'll be a tough game. We've got the players. You know, they'll have a, they'll have a good rest over Sunday. Come in Monday and it's all, it's all full guns blazing on the Yeovil. And if they put the shift in like that, we'll come away with something.